So everybody knows that a tube is a super versatile bait and it just flat out catches fish. So what we're gonna do today is show you guys five different ways that we like to rig them that we find super successful. You might have ways you like to fish them that are different than these five. Uh, if you do, let us know. But what we have is a Texas rig, a weightless tube, a Tokyo rig in a tube, a tube with an internal head, and a Carolina rig. So super classic way, just some four inch tubes, real basic, rigged a few different ways. And we just thought it would be kind of cool to line up a, a super classic bait and just showcase a few different ways that we like to fish it. So first up, we've got a classic Texas rig. I've got a quarter ounce weight on here. I've got it pegged, four aught wide gap hook, super basic way to catch them. Guys have been catching them on a Texas rig tube since way before my time. <laughs> and so it's just, you know, it's, it's a pretty basic way. It comes through cover super well. You can see it, you know, yo-yoing through that grass, whether you're flipping it in bushes, anything like that. You can see it underwater. It just looks pretty sleek. So here it is, take a look at it underwater. So next up, here's a weightless tube. Super basic, have it on a wide gap hook again. Texas rigged with it text posed, right? So you can throw it in any different kind of cover. Throw it up in the bushes, throw it through grass, throw it up under docks, anything you can think of because it's super weedless, comes through cover really, really well. Similar to a fluke, you could fish it open water and it just gives it a little bit different action than a fluke with that little bit different body shape, obviously. And then with that wide nose, it just, it moves water a little differently, but, and it, and it just has a really awesome sinking action when you kill it with those appendages coming off the tail. So take a look at it underwater. Let us know if you've ever caught one on it. So third on the list, we've got a Tokyo rig. A little bit newer of a technique, more people are figuring out about it. And with this rig, I put a tube on it, I can fish it in so many different places. I can go up shallow, I can punch mats, I can go a little bit deeper, fish deep grass lines, I can take it up real shallow, flip bushes, flip wood, and then I can take it offshore and fish deeper hard spots with it, similar to a hard head or something like that. And then also fishing it in current. It keep, the, the physics of this rig keeps it sucked tight to the bottom. Obviously with a tube, there's no appendages on it. So it comes to punching or flipping bushes. It comes in and out of that cover super, super clean. And in my opinion, it's probably the most versatile way to fish a tube. Next up, we've got an internally weighted tube. Before you tie it on, you take your tube and just kind of get some spit on it and then take it and massage, work your way in there. Don't just go gorilla on it because you'll rip the tube. So you want to just kind of gently work it in there till you get all the way to the end and you pop your line tie out. You didn't stress out the tube. You didn't rip it at all and you're good to go. Tie it on. It just gives it a little bit more, it's a little bit more snag free, I guess, than a skinnier tube. Cause if you look at the shape of that, it's wider on the top. So it really just drags, when you're dragging along bottom or how, if you're stroking it up in the water column, 
it's heavier, it gives it a little bit different action, and then on bottom, it's just crushing rocks. It's just bashing in, rolling off of stuff, and it's much less likely to get snagged with that wider profile. And it's just a wrecking ball down there, rolling across rocks, looking like a little dart and crayfish or whatever they might think it is, and they just crush it. And last but not least, we've got a Carolina rig. Super classic way, a rig in a tube. You know, for demonstration purposes, we have this on a little bit shorter of a leader so you can see, see it all in frame, see the sinkers rolling on bottom, the sinker rolling on bottom and that tube hanging up there in the air. But really what it does is it, it gets that tube down, sucked to bottom, and then it's also giving it that weightless action, hanging up and doing all kinds of crazy things down at depth. So it's a basic Carolina rig, you know, I've got it rigged with a bead and that, that sinker and that bead clanking together is really, you know, it's making some noise, it's attracting and it's also protecting that knot. So I've got that bead in there, that sinker's gonna be rolling on bottom, hitting that knot that connects to the, your swivel. And so that bead is also giving that knot a little protection. So check it out down there and let us know what you think. So obviously you can see that every way you rig a tube gives it a little bit different action. Even though it's the same tube, we've got it rigged on this Lunker Hunt four inch tube, same shape, but every way you rig it gives it a little bit different action. So it just really goes to show the versatility of the bait. So go grab yourself a couple bags of tubes, some terminal tackle, head out on the water and you can fish deep, you can fish shallow, you can fish all different types of cover, and you're really gonna be able to cover your bases with that one bait.